Why do amplifiers have two stages? I think that's a good question, and it comes from Casper in Slegelese, Slegels, Denmark? Sorry. <laughs> Paul, why are there two amplification stages in a power amplifier? I hear it referred to as an input stage and an amplification stage, but isn't line level always line level? Therefore, should uh, only, uh, sh shouldn't I need only one amplifier stage? I understand that a turntable would need the extra boost and appliance of the RAAA equalization, but I'm still baffled as to why other components would need it. Hope you can help explain this to me and keep up the great work. Why, thank you, Casper. So, power amplifiers are two stages for a couple of reasons. The primary reason is that we have a input stage, as you described, which is what we call our voltage gain stage. And then we have a current gain stage. Voltage gain, current gain, okay? So, we could build, just as a precursor, we could build just the current stage and leave it at that if we had enough voltage, but we don't. So, let me explain. The output of a preamplifier the output of a source gear typically runs about one to two volts, maybe three, maybe four volts. You know, that's about all that sources can put out. And typically they're putting out two volts, maybe three. All right, that's just the way that all of this has been designed. So a preamp is putting out a couple of volts. In order to drive a speaker, you need many, many volts. For example, an 8 ohm speaker, if memory serves correct, needs about 40 volts across its terminals in order to produce uh, a certain amount of sound. So if, if I remember right, 40 volts across 8 ohms is um, 200 watts and 400 watts into, into 4 ohms. So if we're going to deliver those 200 watts into a speaker, we need a lot of volts. Well, preamps don't put out a lot of volts. Preamps put out a very little amount of volts. Two volts, three volts. You could make a preamp that put out 40 volts, obviously, because that's what's inside of a power amplifier. We just don't. So it probably all started out way back when, when the smallest thing we had was the output of a cartridge, which is putting out millivolts, okay? Fractions of a volt. And then, as you notice, we have to amplify that up to one or two volts. Then we put it into a pre-amplifier, and that further amplifies it up to two or three volts. So by the time you put the record on or you push the CD button, you're getting this three volts out maximum. But we need 40, 50, 60 volts across the speaker terminal to make it work at its loudest level. So the very first thing a power amp has, a voltage gain stage. It takes, and it's usually around 27 to 30 dB. So 30 dB is easy because 30 is 30. So 30 dB is a voltage gain of 30, which means if I put one volt into a power amplifier's voltage gain stage, its first stage input, I get 30 volts out on its output. But that voltage output can't drive any current. It has no ability to produce wattage. So for that, we need to take this voltage and then convert it to high wattage. To do that, we need a current amplifier that has a high input impedance and an extremely low output impedance. And it usually has a gain, a voltage gain of one, and a current gain of however much we need, depending on what this voltage gain stage can deliver. I don't want to get too deep into that, right? So that's the basic reason. We need far more volts than what a preamp puts out, and once we have those, now we need to convert that high voltage into high current at those high voltages. And then when we put it into a speaker, we get music. I hope that helped. Okay, talk to you tomorrow. Bye.